Yo, what up guys, this is TM and today I bring you how to install the new Samsung Galaxy S4 Lollipop ROM or update in your Galaxy S4. So this is the version released from the uh, from Samsung to the German Galaxy S4s and now I bring this for your phone. The only difference that this will have to your phone is that you will have uh, these four apps that you can simply just go ahead and uninstall them so there's no problem. It's the same, it works everywhere if you have a GDI 9505. So simple, if you have it go ahead and do this and your phone will shine and it will be super fast just like you can see right here you can browse throughout, throughout the quick apps and this pretty fast with no lag actually and you will have the Android version 5.0.1 simple right? so you if you want to know how to install this stay tuned the installation is pretty simple all you gotta do is boot into the download mode and then flash it using Odin. So to do this you're gonna need the Galaxy S4, a micro USB cable and a computer. So let's get to this. So first go to your phone and power it off. When it's turned off just go ahead press the power button, the home button and the volume down at the same time. So I'm pressing them right now. When this shows up all you gotta do is press the volume up to continue. So your phone will be into the download mode. So now connect this to your computer. This is the cable from the OnePlus One. So I'm gonna connect it to my computer. Okay, so connected. Now let's go to the computer. In the computer it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is download both of these folders that are in the description. I'll probably going to zip them all in one piece. Uh, just go ahead, extract that and you will get these two folders. So inside that you have Odin and the ROMs folder. So all you gotta do is you gotta go to Odin, open the folder and now go over here, right click it and then run as administrator. Simple right? And then press yes. This will show up and you can close that that thing. So if you if you have this uh, this blue com rectangle right here, this means that your drivers are installed. If not, just go ahead to the to the to the description and download the drivers, install them, reboot your computer and this should uh, be blue and just like this. Now over here make sure that you have the auto reboot and the F reset time checked and now go to BL, click it and now navigate to the folder, to the other folder in the desktop, this one and choose the BL file and then press open. Let's wait for it to load. Okay. Now press AP. This will this one will take a little bit to load up. Press open and now just wait for it to load up. Then go to CP and open the CP file. Then go to CSC and open the CSC file. After that, just go ahead and click on start. So in the end your phone should be like this and it should be installing and as you can see it is resetting automatically and as soon as it's, it says pass you can just go ahead and unplug the cable. Okay and now it's going to boot up. Now let's just wait for this to boot up. 
So the phone has booted up. Now let's just go ahead and choose the language. And now just configure this normally as you would uh, if, if you had a new phone. And as you can see, the phone, I just set up, I just set it up the phone and uh, there you go. So uh, because this is a German version, the first version, uh, you have these German apps. Just go ahead and simply uninstall them. Really simple. You can do this for every one of these. Uh, and then you will be good to go. So if you want to take a look at the apps, you got the normal apps with the icons a little bit uh, more materi materialized. And the apps, kids mode, Knox. So you got everything that you would normally have in the KitKat version, but you have the but you have the lollipop version. Simple, right? So you got all these quick uh, quick toggles right here, location, well, everything. Uh, and and again, this is official from Samsung. Pretty fast. Not rooted because this is the official one. The official from Samsung. The lollipop official so if you want to know how to install this if you want to install this just go ahead and do it it's pretty easy as you as you saw and uh, and you will be good to go and uh, let me just show you Android version 5.0.1 and you get the animation the lollipop animation with the Flappy Bird game. I normally can't do three. Yeah. Normally die at the second try. So this is it guys. We got the phone. The keypad. Get the contacts. Get the messages. Internet. Well, everything that you normally, that you would normally have, but faster. And there's no more uh, Dalvik cache now. It runs on uh, on ART, so it's faster. That means that it's faster. You will have longer battery. Uh, and I I've tried this, and it works. You have longer battery, but unfortunately you only have the sound mode and the vibrate mode you can't just by pressing here you will not have the mute option for that you will need to install a custom ROM that you can also see in my channel and if there is not a lollipop custom ROM for the Galaxy S4 there will be probably the next video or uh, the, the next second video so stay tuned for more things about the Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3 and everything. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you like it, if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. This was TM and I'm out.